okay hi guys so in this lecture uh, we'll be discussing on cross or mixed aldol okay so let's get started with the example which will clearly uh, illustrate this topic so we have let's suppose a uh, aldehyde and a ketone okay and we are providing basic medium and we are heating it so what are the compounds which will be getting formed so first we can actually form the compound with oxygen atoms coming from the keto uh, aldehyde group and hydrogen also coming from the aldehyde group so in this case what would be the product form product form would be you just have to imagine one more aldehyde on this so what would be the product form so it would be something like this uh, this would be having a negative charge and this would be uh, or rather directly let's just directly make the there is a double bond between this carbon atom and this carbon atom so we'll be getting something like ch3 ch double bond ch ch o okay second would be oxygen coming from ketone hydrogen coming also from ketone just have to imagine one more ketone here and this hydrogen water molecule is releasing from here I'm just drawing the previous uh, examples or uh, dehydration step so what will be here we will we'll be getting something like CH3 C double bond O CH double bond C CH3 and CH3 okay third we can have something like coxine is coming from the aldehyde group and ket uh, hydrogen is coming from the ketone group okay so in this case what would be the what would be the compound formed I'm just erasing what is not required for better clarity okay so we have ch double bond o and see this is a ketone group okay so oxygen coming from the aldehyde group and um, so this would be something like this would be this hydrogen and this oxygen would be getting dehydrated from the combined compound so we'll be getting something like ch3 ch double bond ch C double bond o ch3 now in the last example oxygen is coming from the ketone and hydrogen is coming from the aldehyde group so what will we be getting oxygen is coming from the keto group okay so we'll be getting something like something like this compound okay or this uh, form together to uh, have a dehydration so we'll get something like ch double bond c ch3 and ch3 here okay so these are the four compounds we get so obviously we know that uh earlier is more reactive towards uh, the aldol uh, reaction why simply because uh, it is having more partial positive character on the carbon containing the double bond with the oxygen hence uh, it is uh, the it's a more possibility that uh, the nucleophile will attack from the ketone part and the uh, it will attack on the co bond of the aldehyde hence uh, in all the in all the four cases wherever oxygen is donated by the uh, aldehyde group it would be in a major concentration hence one and three would be in major concentration okay so this compound and this compound are indeed the This compound and this compound are indeed the major products of this reaction okay so you can take another example we have something like this a keto group and again we have a aldehyde group we are reacting it in basic medium and providing heat what will happen is aldol condensation will take place in which oxygen will be donated by aldehyde group so it can either have a nucleophile from the same group which is aldehyde or from the ketone group hence we can get this group would be attacked by if it is attacked by if it is attacked by this group which is the same aldehyde and when it is attacked by 
this group so here we have a alpha hydrogen here but in this case alpha hydrogen is not, not present as we have to destroy the benzene ring which is highly highly which is highly highly not probable okay so we'll not take this step we'll either la will rather take take this step in which ch2 minus or nucleophile is from the this alpha hydrogen which has actually two hydrogen attached to it so the final product will be getting something like like this ch ph okay so this would be the main product in this case aldol condensation aldol condensed product okay so now we'll be seeing what is called as intramolecular aldol condensation okay intramolecular aldol condensation so let's let's assume we have something like this okay this a uh, long pro uh, compound okay what happens when we heat it and provide basic medium obviously uh, we'll get will either get uh, that this uh, we can get that this uh, or i can directly show you that either this compound or uh, just it is it either this carbon atom which is on the right hand side of the keto group or the carbon atom which is left on the left hand side of the carbon atom will attack okay so if this carbon atom attacks we'll get a some a structure something like this one two three four this is the first carbon second third and fourth so this is this is not the naming con or this is not the numbering convention this is just for the sake of understanding okay so we'll be getting something like two three this carbon atom double bond between this two carbon atom so this will be the structure which is having a four membered ring okay next what what if this carbon attack carbon atom, carbon atom attacks the fourth carbon so we'll have a one uh, just just changing the numbering order or directly writing five and six six carbon atom here so we'll have a six member ring formation in which this will be acting as a nucleophile and this would be the electrophile so we'll be getting something like so this is the sixth carbon atom this is the fourth we have a double bond here and at fifth carbon atom we have a double bond o here okay so we'll have something like this compound so is it a six member ring or uh, how many member uh, how many members are there one two three four five six six only right uh, okay so this will be the major compound major product in this case now what 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 will happen is when we actually increase one more carbon atom in between okay okay so what 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 happens in this case is what happens in this case so if you attack with this carbon atom uh, this is i'll just redraw it 1 2 3 4 5 let's number the carbon atom first carbon atoms first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so ideally 6 should attack on the first carbon atom because aldehyde should be attacked because of more electrophilic nature but it will form a seven member ring okay which will be unstable so uh, if if we can do some uh, work around and if we can look that um, this will form a five member ring when we attack from five fifth carbon to the first carbon atom so we'll will have something like this compound okay so this is the fifth carbon this is the first carbon we have a double bond here okay and on sixth carbon we'll have something like 
five on six carbon will have or oh, sorry on fifth carbon only will have the keto group attached so we have here this compound will be formed okay so this compound can either form or we can also have the electrophile from electrophile as keto group hence this carbon atom can actually attack the keto group and as a result again we'll be getting a five member ring with one two three four five members here so let's suppose this is the second carbon atom okay on second carbon atom we already have this group attached okay and on second we have a double bond also this should be in minor percentage okay and this should be in major per per percentage why because in this case uh, uh, electrophile is aldehyde and nucleophile is from the keto group in this case electrophile is the keto group and nucleophile is from the aldehyde group and third we were we were will we'll also get a seven member ring okay in which again the electrophile would be the keto group rather electrophile would be the LDH group and the nucleophile would be the keto group uh, what I mean is this carbon atom is attacking this CO group so we'll get also get seven number ring as one two three four five six seven okay okay double bond here or uh, rather uh, uh, double bond between first this is the first seventh carbon atom this is the first carbon atom and on the sixth carbon atom we are getting double bond O so this is the final product we get let's redraw it okay this is a seven number ring and obviously the stability order is obviously five is given more priority than seven which is given less priority than six so this is the stability order hence this would be also minor product okay so experimentally we saw that the major products concentration was 78 percent okay had it been a six member ring like in the previous example when the nucleophile from the ketone group attached on the LDI group then this would be the major product but in this case the electrophile or the nucleophile from the keto group which was attacking on the electrophile formed a seven member ring hence it was less stable than the five member ring in which electrophile was from the keto group okay so hence uh, this would be the major product wherein electrophile is still the uh, aldehyde group and keto group is the nucleophile in this case aldehyde was nucleophile and keto was electrophile in this case aldehyde was electrophile keto was nucleophile but due to the seven member ring formation it was still a minor product major would be still electrophile uh, as uh, LDH and nucleophile as keto because it was forming a five member ring okay so we'll meet in the next lecture and we'll discuss uh, and we'll write some notes on this reaction and we'll discuss some other reactions on uh, aldol condensation part till then good luck and good bye